Hi everyone, how are you doing today? Welcome to Tech Guru Kul. So in in learning series, uh, today we are going to learn um, about a software. Uh, we'll do just a, a basic review of a software. So which is LibreOffice 7.3. So 7.4 is out, but it's not uh, like stable one. So we'll just uh, check this one. So this uh, this is uh, like uh, alternative to paid paid uh, office which are there in in the market. So if you if you so this is a free software and a very powerful office suite. So this this basically is a successor of Open Office. Earlier it used to uh, come with the name of Open Office. Now it is uh, like um, uh, renamed to LibreOffice. So this office suit can easily replace so uh, basically uh, if you don't want to pay for office suit in your organization or for your personal work you can use this uh, libre office so it's freely available and so uh, basically the following are the components in this so it's it has writer so it's basically a word processor calc which is a uh, like excel sheet so a spreadsheet uh, impress is for presentation like powerpoint draw is for uh, drawing a diagrams different kind of diagrams or like flowcharts or so um, base is a, a kind of database like we have um, uh, we used to have with microsoft office uh, and uh, so you can use it as a database then maths it's for like formula editor and charts are there so basically these are the uh, components of this office so okay so new features which has come to uh, come with 7.3 uh, follows so it uh, it adds uh, the enhancement to the sharing of a document uh, tracking the changes and modification with the different uh, users so we can we can uh, collaborate and uh, work on the same document here so uh, so calc, calc like spreadsheets works faster than earlier then we have a barcodes and borders so we can now insert barcodes into the document so nowadays it has come, it has become like a barcodes are all all, all all everywhere so we can insert that and so you can find more uh, and more uh, about this on the, this uh, link which is provided in fourth point so it's wiki documents foundation.org release notes in release notes you will find whole lot of uh, whole a lot of uh, release uh, notes uh, everything about this so you can you can read more on more there if you if you are interested if you want to reach out to the team who has developed or who has actively working on this you can follow these twitter twitter accounts and facebook accounts and what next means in in this software so libreoffice 7.5 is um, like uh, major, major release in August before this you can give a try you can you can help developer to fix bugs find bugs and uh, report it to them so you can also download 7.4 and install it and test it if you want and so what we'll do now we'll we'll try to install this uh, on Ubuntu and we'll see like what are the options we'll just open and explore the uh, different components which it has so thank you for watching uh, tech guru cool so uh, we will will keep bringing on uh, new new software which which is good good alternative for paid version and all so for for you to have have an option of using software if you are not able to buy or something or we will will we'll experiment different software so that you can see like how it is installed how easy it is to install so like what these things will do in the future so please do like subscribe and uh, support our channel and please comment if you find something good if you don't find something good please do comment if you like something if you want some uh, some like if you want us to uh, install configure or do any 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 kind of software installation configuration please do comment and like us thank you for watching this uh, let's let's see uh, it in live how we install it uh, how we explore the components in ubuntu thanks for try watching. to install that in ubuntu okay So I'm trying to open the Firefox and then first I'll download the uh, LibreOffice and after that I'll install.
now you can search like this it's easy so the first link okay so 7.3 is available so I'll download this so you can select according to you so I'll use dev which is uh, good to go with uh, Ubuntu if you have Red Hat you can use RPM for Mac you can use this okay and for so it's basically available for every operating system Linux Windows or Mac so I'm installing it on Ubuntu and so I'll choose this download Let's see if you want you can contribute some uh, you can donate some money here because they were free and they provide free software so it's better to donate something to them too okay so whatever you like you can donate to them so it's uh, downloading now here so it's around it's around uh, 186 MB so it's not taking much of the time as my internet speed is good so now it's downloaded okay so we can uh, okay we can extract it so I'll, I'll do it through terminal so so okay so, so i have downloaded it into it so okay so i have the terminal open i have downloaded into the download here hyphen x is a def you can extract it in from window also if you if you don't want it to extract um, on terminal you can extract it like this you can open it it will open and then you can drag and drop like this okay like this also you can do and also so I'll, I'll do it through this xpf libreoffice okay so this is just extracting okay so now it is extracted here so db so basically so we can install this okay one by one okay so let's install this one now so basically the day installation packages are here okay so okay and this is the readme file else if you want to read about the installation help this this contains everything how to install if you find something uh, missing or something or if you don't uh, if you are not able to install it you can read this okay so now what is the one option is to sell like install it one by one and another option is to use terminal so basically uh, this command uh, i have copied it so basically one second Okay, so wait, I'll, I'll do it. So, here. So, basically, sorry, give me one second. So, one, okay. So, so this you can do dpkg. So, basically, we need sudo. sudo dpkg hyphen i that is in for installation star d. Uh, uh, dot deb so this command using this you can install all the dev file inside uh, this so first first we have to go to that uh, directory location cd libreoffice okay so this contains the dev okay so this is basically all the dev files so uh, let's install through this so sudo dpkg hyphen i star dot deb okay so one option is to install like this this will install let's let's see another options where using which you can install so let's open the software center 
so ubuntu has software center snap so you, using that also you can install uh, software this is basically you want to software center it's like uh, interface is where you will have list of software which you can install it okay so let it open opening it will take some time I think okay so it's opening now since uh, this operating system is inside virtual machine and this is hosted on a like older computer so this will be a bit slower I'm sorry for that so this is basically installing it and meanwhile we'll open the software center let it open so I'll just show you the uh, the ways two three ways how you can install it so one option is to install it through command line or using dev package uh, by downloading it from the uh, website library website and other option is to install through software center I am not sure why it's not opening there will be some issue okay and maybe I need to update it so I'll, I'll show you that option Okay, so I think it's opened okay so this is just updating the catalog for uh, since I am opening this first time so it will it is fetching the uh, metadata from the internet about the software and catalog details from the Ubuntu website so it will take some time let's wait for that How all the dev, uh, dev packages has been installed successfully you can see that so we will try to uh, now open the office which has installed so let's open the writer first okay so look this is the writer okay this is calc sorry so I'll see like where is the writer okay so you can also search here writer Okay, so this is LibreOffice 7.3 Writer Community Edition. Basically, it's free, and like you can also evaluate it. You can use it as as the way you like it. Okay, it's opening. So if you have a good system, you won't face this much of time. So our software center has opened. So also you can if you want you can install through software center also so for that you need to office and search like this really slow sorry for that so okay so our okay so let's see the software center later because it's causing the issue okay so it's installed now okay close this i'll close these things to make it a bit faster by mistake closed actually <laughs> okay so there should be basically the interface looks like of word it's just like microsoft word and i think you may find something different here so you can do lot many things 
insert objects everything from moda object and the media chart images so you can play with this okay uh, okay so this is just a word uh, like a kind of word processor so likewise we have installed uh, other components also if you see this is libra uh, library library uh, or library office draw community edition so okay so you can draw something wait so you can draw so you can create charts and everything flow charts and everything so this is this is a good tool when you have to do a software designing also so like this uh, okay so uh, likewise we have all the components installed LibreOffice. Suppose if I do uh, do the uh, like, if you want to build uh, PPTs, you can use this. Okay, let it open. Okay, so this 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 has already like templates for you. You can choose any template, and you can create different slideshows, and you can. Okay, so this is pre-built. You can just import it and start doing running so likewise this has all the components which we have discussed and you can start using it and it's a good alternative for paid and costly version of softwares so you have excel also i'll open this also once okay okay so let's see Okay, so these are the options. You can insert image, and there will be an option to insert the barcode which we discussed. So I have not used it earlier. So yeah, okay, here it's here. Okay. Suppose this is the okay. So this is the barcode for this. So this is good option. So you have a lot many options you can explore this software and you can share in comments if you find it good or bad so you should you should use these things and instead of using pirated office also you can try using these softwares these are also good and also you can contribute to the community and if you want you can donate some money to them uh, because they are working for free yeah, almost so uh, thanks for watching uh, let's do some other uh, software review sometime later. So please do like, subscribe and comment on the videos. Please do uh, comment if you find something good. If you don't find something good, please do comment. Let me know how I can improve and do good. And uh, what other software you want to be reviewed. So we'll review, have, we'll, we can have a detailed review on different software. So please comment and let me know. Thanks for watching Tech Guru Kul. Let's meet again sometime later.